Okay, so um, we just talked about tuning in um, S or shutter speed, shutter priority mode. That means that's where you set the shutter and the aperture is set for you. I'm going to change this to A or aperture priority and turn the camera on. And my battery, I can tell already, is going to about is dying. It looks good now, but if I wait about 30 seconds, I notice that that drops down. So just a heads up. That means I need to change the battery. But anyway. This is fine for now. So I'm in aperture priority, which means that I change my aperture right here and my shutter will change. So if I move my control dial right here back and forth, my aperture changes and my shutter will change in, in accordance. Now, what happens in this case is that you don't get a higher low situation here. You don't, it doesn't tell you that you're not getting enough light or too much light because the shutter has more options. So by changing the aperture, the shutter will adjust to whatever it needs to. So, so that's pretty much what you do. You just move this back and forth and um, it gives you options that way. Again, just because you're using shutter mode, you still have to pay attention to what this says. If this is one tenth of a second that's really slow, that is tripod territory. And it looks like even with my aperture at the widest setting, I am in tripod territory, which means that I either need to use a tripod or when I take a picture, set my camera down on a stable surface to take the picture. If only I was outside um, or by a window during daylight, that would be fine. But again, inside in this room, and just to remind you guys, here I am. Um, this is the awesome room I'm in. Look at all these lights. This is, there's a million and one fluorescent lights in here and I don't have enough light. This is a really dim environment. This is not where I would shoot and take a picture. So. Please remember to um, shoot in a really good lighting environment for you. Um, I always tell students outside or near a window are the best places if it's inclement weather. But this is the, definitely the kind of thing where you, you can't, unfortunately, wait until like 7 o'clock in the evening on, you know, if it's after October and all the way to like March. You just can't do it because you've lost the light for the day. So you have to plan ahead and, and just find a good time to take those pictures yourself. Thanks everyone.